What up, y'all? Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. As y'all come into the video, y'all smash that like button. Smash it straight off the rip. And subscribe to the channel you ain't subscribed already now. It's fight. It's fight week, man. It's fight week. Things are heating up, man. Um, I expect this to be like a big press week. Um, I probably won't get there to the weekend, but but um, we're going to push out some more videos all week, all the way to the fight get here. So what I want to talk about this video is, I should have did this video probably like a week ago, but fuck it, we're going to do it now. It ain't never too late. I want to talk about the difference between your Dennis Ugas counterpuncher style versus Danny Garcia's. You know, um, I feel like this is a good topic to talk about because Earl Smith just got done fighting Danny Garcia, his last fight. And now he's fighting Ugas. Ugas and Danny Garcia are both counterpunchers. Um, but they, even though they both counterpunchers, they, 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 they whole style is based around counterpuncher. They are two different type of counterpunchers. And they counterpunch in different ways. To me, Danny Garcia, he counterpunched are off like blocking majority of the time. Like I watched him I watched him train him and Angel Garcia in his camp or whatever. Uh I see a lot of Danny Garcia like you can pose as you hitting him with the miss and he'll swing right after that. Like for instance, you touch him with the as soon as you touch him, that's how they train. They as soon as you touch Danny Garcia, he throwing the hook instantly. He throwing the hook soon as you touch him, and that's a good way to knock opponents out. That's how he caught Mercan right in the middle of the punch. Mercan hit him at the same exact time as he hit him with the hook, and that nigga almost went night night. He finished him after that, but I'm just saying like. Danny Garcia trains like that as if you're hitting him and he punch right off of that shit. And he catch a lot of guys with that and he got the power to hurt you. You know, he only really let his hands go until after he hurt you, for real, for real. You know, um, to me, your Dennis Ugas is more active than Danny Garcia. All this shit is my opinion. Somebody might disagree, but I feel like Ugas is more active than, than Danny Garcia. And he throw his counter punch in a different way. Ugas kind of use more head movement. He got this like half a step, step back that he like to take, right? Because when as he coming forward, he poses, he coming, co coming forward with his full guard, right? Baiting you to throw so he can lean back and counter your ass off of that. He used more head movement than Danny. Danny uses his block. He'll take a punch because he got a chin. He'll just take a punch just to catch you at the same time because he's trying to knock you out. Ugas different. He's leaning back. He's taking a half a step back. He's leaning back. He throwing his counter puncher off of you missing. And, and he, when he throw his counter puncher, he, he don't really throw one. He throwing a combination with his counter puncher. You know, he don't hit, to me, he don't really hit his harder than Danny Garcia. So when he counter punch, he throwing like a three, four punch combination when he throw his shit back. So a, a good, if he's fighting a good counter puncher, like for instance, Earl Spence, I think Earl Spence going to be able to counter him. You know, because you know, Earl Spence like to part with the jab. So I see it like Earl Spence tricking him into thinking he throwing Soon, soon as uh, Ugas come back, lean, take his little lean back and come back with with his little counter. Earl Spence can counter off for that. You know, we see Earl Spence a lot, like using his uh, opponents. The same thing they do, he use it against them even better. Like with Sean, he out dog Sean. Mikey, he out box Mikey. He out counter punch Danny. On and on. Like he, he can do the same thing these guys do, but better than them. See, these guys that Earl Spence be fighting pretty much 
one dimensional. See, Earl Spencer's an all around fighter. See, you you won't focus and dial in on one thing he do and be like, he's that type of fighter because he can just switch it up and do something else. He can do all the shit. So you can't really see exactly what he what he's best at. It's, it's based on whatever he feels like doing, for real, for real. When you think about it, it's just whatever he feel like doing that, that night, and that's what he want to do. I, I believe this going to be an inside type of fight. You know, we're going to see who, who, who the fuck can throw the best body punches, who's going to be the most successful on the inside. I say Earl Spence because he's stronger than Ugas. Ugas going to be able to tell very quickly, okay, you know, I keep counterpunching with this dude on the inside. He's going to fuck me up. But by that time, he done already drained you. I heard Chris Van Heerden say something about how he was fighting Earl Spence, right? He felt like Earl Spence wasn't hurting him as bad. But about time four, five, six rounds then went by, he finally figured out, damn, he draining me. He, he, he didn't beat me to the body the whole first few rounds. By the time you catch on, you already, yo, yo, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a video game. Like for the people who play fight night, UFC, something like that, you got a stand them up boy. As you playing the game, right? Yes, your stamina go down when you throw punches and go back up, but it's at a time where your entire stamina bar shortens up. And that's what he kind of like doing to you in a video game sense. He's he shortening your stamina bar, bro. Shortening your shit up. So even though you still got stamina left, but you don't have as much as you you know, started the fight off with. So that's when he get to dwelling on you and letting loose on your ass in the seven, eight, nine, ten, and for further on and fuck around and stop you in the, in the 10th, 11th, 12th. That's when he on the verge of stopping you by that time toward the end of the fight. But like I was saying, man, ooh, guys, counter punching, right? He he steps back, right? He, 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 he come forward with his hunch back. With the full guard. Soon as you throw, he leaned back. Throw his counters. Danny was different. He catching shots. That's what Danny, he catching and shooting. Who got his pull counter? So, I didn't see Earl Spin do a lot of pull counter. I believe he just as good as Ugas that counter puncher. He, he, that's just not what his whole game is around. So, I believe Uga got another thing coming, man. This is going to be an inside, you know, shootout. That's what I believe. I believe this is going to be an inside fight shootout. You know, body punching. You know, that's how. And, and Uga's and Earl Spence judge different distance different. Earl Spence judge the distance with his jab. You know, he par with the jab or he just... He throw different type of jabs, or he'll just shoot the jab. Ugas got a pretty good jab also, but the way he judge distance, like I said, he, I feel like he judge distance like with his feet more than his, you know, than his hands. So he leaning back as soon as he feel like he in the distance of you hitting him, he leaning back so you can miss. It's, it almost reminds me of how we used to fight back when we was in like middle school and high school and shit like. You know, you you fighting with your partner, or or just fighting with the op or whoever the fuck you fighting with. Niggas used to literally say every time you dodge a punch, weave, weave. I feel like ooh, I say this shit in his head, like weave, weave. So when he dodged a punch, that what type of shit it looked like he saying his head. He that's his timing. He got some good ass timing though, but. I don't think Uga got enough pop to make Earl Spence respect him, you know, as Earl Spence coming on the inside, pushing you against the ropes and shit like that. I don't think, I don't think Uga's got enough pop to even make him be like, okay, we're gonna, we just going to keep this in the middle of the ring. Don't come on the inside. 
I don't think he got enough for Earl Spence to, to, to change his game plan to some shit like that. You know, Danny Garcia hit way harder than Ugas. He way more sturdy. He got them 11 toes, 12 toes. I am many alien toes this nigga had. He was sturdy on his feet. So as you coming in and you committing to a punch, Danny Garcia can stay right there as you coming in on him and, 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 and counter you off that shit. Ugas trying to, he trying to weave some shit. So that's, that's just what I wanted to do a little video on, man. I feel like I should do this shit last week, but I wanted to get it up out the way, man. Um, this this fight week, bro. We got the press conferences, the weigh-ins, the rest of the interviews, probably part three of all access, and, 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 and fight. I will be in the building, so y'all get up with me, man. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Y'all ain't subscribed already. And I'm out, y'all. Deuces.